All right, hey everyone, we're back again. Uh, as you can see, we got Eric all prepped up and ready for the procedure. Uh, we got our ultrasound machine, uh, all of our blood product is ready to go. Uh, he's all nice and sterilized, clean, um, so we're gonna get started. Uh, so what we're gonna do first, uh, I'm gonna use the um, ultrasound machine to kind of locate where we're gonna be um, doing these injections. Uh, Eric, go ahead and flip your hand up so that your palm's facing the ceiling. Perfect. So we're gonna use our <laughs> ultrasound here to take a look at the shoulder. The first thing we want to do is we want to actually find the bicep tendon. Uh, go ahead and take that center line off for me. So the bicep tendon, and go up on the desk a little bit once you get that. The bicep tendon is going to be sitting directly in the middle of the screen here. Uh, down one more. Uh, it's going to be that round structure sitting between those nice little two humps on the bottom. Uh, and uh, as you can see or maybe see at home, there's a, a little bit of black fluid around the bicep tendon itself. That's indicating that there's likely some, a little bit of inflammation sitting around that bicep tendon. And this is also pretty consistent with the area that he was having some pain. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to inject into the bicep tendon sheath, which is the area around the bicep tendon, and we're going to inject into the bicep tendon itself uh, to account for any um, uh, irregularity in the actual tendon. Um, do me a favor, uh, hit the uh, color. Bring that down around there. So there is some vascularity that we have to worry about on the inside of the bicep tendon here. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're doing what we can to avoid uh, any vasculature. Uh, but also around sort of the top of the tendon uh, on some of these images, you can see there's a little bit of flickering of uh, uh, inflammation that kind of comes out as we're kind of moving the transducer around. Some of that's artifact, some of it's actually uh, inflammatory change. Um, but we'll just make sure we account for any, uh, for any blood vessels or anything as we're doing this procedure. Let's go ahead and take that color off. Uh, increase the gain for me. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to numb up our surface skin. We're going to mark our approach here so we know where we're going. And we'll use a little bit of uh, cryo anesthesia spray. Big poke here. So we numb up the surface of the skin with some lidocaine and as we approach here, we'll be able to see our needle being guided right down toward the bicep tendon and we'll inject a little bit more anesthetic as we approach here. And as we get down to the tendon or the ligament overlying the bicep tendon, we'll inject there. And just a little bit as we get under that tendon and into the tendon sheath around the bicep itself. Now that we got that there, I'm actually going to switch the syringe out a little bit. And we're going to use a stronger anesthetic here to give a little bit more longer acting anesthetic effect. Sometimes people get sore after these procedures just because the platelets that we use are inflammatory. That's their job. We want them to cause inflammation. Uh, but that can result in some soreness, so we want to use a little bit of heavier numbing medicine just so people are a little more comfortable after the procedures. Here. Now this is going to be our actual platelet product that we're going to use into and around the tendon. And again, we're using that ultrasound machine to guide our needle directly where we want it to, right down into the area of that tendon sheath. You can see it coming down. We're passing over that vasculature that was there. We want to avoid that. Now we're in that tendon kind of sitting right over the ligament, kind of sitting right over top of the bicep tendon. We'll inject a little bit there, and we'll slide right down into the area under the tendon sheath, and we'll go ahead and inject there, 
And you may be able to see the fluid kind of filling up around the bicep tendon there. And we're getting it just all around, just kind of bathing that tendon sheath with some good platelet material that's gonna help out with a lot of the inflammation around the tendon itself. So we're gonna give about a milliliter of fluid around that tendon. Switch out here again. We're going to use a little higher concentration platelet, which just gives you a little bit more platelet volume. And we're going to do that into the tendon itself. So what we're doing is we'll just retract here a little bit slide our needle right down into the center, right into the heart of the tendon there. Take that picture, this is good. And we'll use a little more high grade platelet to inject just into the tendon itself. Doing okay? Yep. So, just image again, just to make sure we got what we want up and down the tendon. So as we go a little bit lower here, you can see where we injected some of that fluid volume around the tendon. It looks like there's a little more fluid in there now uh, and into the tendon itself. So that's gonna help with a lot of that inflammation directly in the front part of the shoulder here. And did that feel like where you have a lot of your pain usually? Yeah. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have him switch positions a little bit. So go ahead and roll your hand over. Good, uh, swing your hand uh, under so it's kind of like tucked up under your butt. You okay there? Yeah, a little stiff. Okay, all right. We're not gonna, I won't push it too hard. You can actually turn your hand a little bit so it's setting right on the side of your thigh there. All right, good. We can just modify that position a little bit for people that have more pain uh, just because sometimes these positions can be a little bit difficult to maintain. I think it's just, just not flexible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pain will also cause that to be an issue too. So here what we're looking for is we're actually looking for the footprint of the upper part of the rotator cuff tendon. Give me a little more. see here is this is kind of the bird beak footprint of the rotator cuff tendon across the top part of the shoulder and in the front part of it here sort of down uh, at the very bottom of the tendon right where that point is you can see there's a little bit of jagged area uh, where it looks like there's some uh, some black area up above that uh, bone contortion there. So that's probably where there's been a tear where the tendon has actually separated off of the bone a little bit. Um, and as a result, you can see that there's some irregularity in the bone itself. And then the tendon kind of pulls back a little bit. Over time, uh, that can become irritated uh, just like any other structure in the body. Um, but since that tendon is kind of uh, pulled away from that bone a little bit, it doesn't heal very well. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll place, some ten we'll place some platelets right into that area of defect in the tendon uh, and we'll get that to heal up uh, pretty nice and we should see some changes in that bone uh, as well. So again, we're just gonna mark our approach here.
come up to scan again. Place that needle right into the area where that airing is. I'm just going to use a little bit of anesthetic in there. Uh, I'm actually going to switch and use a different type of anesthetic in the tendon because that anesthetic is a little more uh, effective with the platelets itself and it doesn't inhibit any of the platelet activity. another substance here into that actual area where the tendon is tearing, something called thrombin. Thrombin is basically a platelet activating agent. And what that's going to do is it's going to help to initiate the platelets to start doing their job sort of as soon as they get in here. And that's going to create almost like a jelly type matrix within the tendon. And that's going to create a good scaffolding so that the platelets are going to be able to kind of adhere and uh, provide some better healing effect into the area where this tendon is torn. We don't want to overload it, but we want to make sure we give enough to where it's going to give us the result that we want. We'll place it sort of right in the middle. We'll go a little bit into the back side of the tear here, closer to where there's some good tendon tissue. So that's it. Uh, so what we did was we, again, addressed uh, the bicep tendon, the inflammation around the bicep tendon itself, and, and actually addressed into the tendon uh, to try to accommodate for any tendinopathy or substance changes within the tendon itself. Uh, also injected into the rotator cuff muscle, into the rotator cuff tendon where there was a defect, um, and used the thrombin to help with that platelet activation. Now. Uh, this will start getting sore for him probably later on today. That's normal. That's the typical effect that we see. Uh, however, over the weekend, that inflammation should continue to taper down and the healing effect will kind of take off after that. Hopefully over the next few weeks, that'll continue to taper down, taper down. We'll check in in another six weeks or so and we'll make sure everything's going well uh, in the post-procedure setting. So that's it. That's a, that's a shoulder procedure for some pretty simple rotator cuff and bicep uh, tendon pain issues. I uh, hope this was enjoyable for you. If you guys have any questions, give us a call, and uh, thanks for tuning in. You want to ask him how he feels? Oh, how do you feel right now, Eric? Fine. It just feels like a little bit of pressure there, that's all. Good. Perfect. Thank you.